Today, I take you on an adventure through the largest abandoned mansion in the United States. And I know what you're thinking. How can something so magnificent be left abandoned? That is a question I ask myself time and time again. Completed in the year 1900 for one of the richest people in history, Peter A. B. Widener, a very successful businessman as well as an avid art collector. This neoclassical revival mansion features 110 rooms with 55 of them being bedrooms. And some of these rooms to this day are still fully intact as if time stood still. The future of this mansion is not bright, unfortunately, as it will take approximately $50 million to restore back to its original state. Join me today as I take you inside the abandoned Linwood Hall. What's up everybody, it's Big Banks. We're back again for another video. I know you may think that we're inside of a church right now, but we're not. We are actually in an abandoned mansion and this place is absolutely phenomenal. And it has some crazy, crazy history to it. This place was built in 1900. That's when it was finished being built. It was built by Peter Widener, who was also, he was a funder for the Titanic. His children, one of his sons and his grandson, tragically actually passed away on the Titanic when it sunk. So this place has, you know, ties to that. This place has 110 rooms, 55 being bedrooms, and it's 70,000 square feet. So this place is actually the 18th largest mansion in America, and it is the largest abandoned mansion in America. So this place is absolutely insane. The architecture in here is by far the best I've ever seen in any abandoned place I've ever been inside of. I'm blown away already. So right now we're actually in the chapel, of the house, which actually used to be the ballroom, but when it was purchased in the 90s by the first Korean church, they turned this into a chapel. And it's actually been vacant and abandoned since about 93. So this place is so beautiful. We're gonna get right into it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and let's just get right into it. So guys, like I said, this is the chapel part of the house and it looks better than any abandoned church I've ever been to. And it's all still untouched, all still sitting here. And it's more of like the, uh, the architecture of the ceiling and even like up here, like it's just so beautiful, so elegant. Like I wanna show you guys the little bit of details that was put into building this place. Like, just all throughout the house is stuff like this. So you get a good look at this. Insanely beautiful. Now this place is huge, so it's gonna take a minute to walk around. And this video is probably gonna be a little bit longer, but Appreciate my guy here for showing me. And that we're about to be in the main part of the house, which is the foyer, and it is absolutely, it's breathtaking. So, first of all, love floors like this. We got an old couch. But before we actually go in there, I wanna show you this. It's like a little classroom inside of the house. So, 
when they built this, when they turned this into a classroom, it was back in the 50s when it was purchased by a uh, organization. And there's actually two classrooms, and this being probably the best one in here. And this is the foyer. Like, look at this staircase. Somebody lived here. That's just mind blowing. And the ceilings are so high up. Now this place has, I believe, three floors. So when we get up to the second floor, there's a lot more cool stuff. Another huge room. A lot of kid stuff left in here. Huge mirror. And then we walk down here and we get into the dining room, which is absolutely huge. They wanted this place to be like this so he could have a lot of guests. Wanted to show off the wealth which is understandable. Incredible. From what I know, this is the breakfast room. Super beautiful, the high ceilings. And you can tell all this furniture in here is really old too. We have a lot to go through here. And this one is incredibly beautiful, like architecturally. Like they put a lot of work into this. Like it's, it's so breathtaking. I've always wanted to come here. This is like my dream spot because you know I love mansions and this is the largest one in America. Also probably the best one. <laughs> so we're gonna keep walking through it and hope you guys enjoy. Let's just get another look at the, the foyer in here. This is the main room of the house. Like this is, I love checkered floors. Huge mirror, huge details. Like this is so pretty. Even the ceiling. Okay. Wow. All this stuff still in here. Got a huge stove. Guys, one thing I noticed, there's a basketball court outside this place. <laughs> and look at this fridge. That's definitely old Imperial. I'm not sure. Hmm. That's cool. It's all marble in here too. Like, yeah, that's real marble. All right, let's go upstairs. Beautiful green staircase. So this is like a receptionist desk, something like that. Old TV, couch. So you see these doors right here. This room actually used to be an art gallery which held some of the finest arts. 
which most of it all is in the art gallery in New York now. And then we get in here, this is probably the worst looking part of the mansion. Where this is kind of falling in, a lot of decay. But also this was part of the gallery as well. ceiling. So much detail. They don't build them like this no more. Sad to see all this land like this. I just want you guys to take a look at some of the details. Like what they put into this. Incredible. Go down one of these hallways. The lighting's actually pretty good now. Some shelves with some books. Then we have this thing. Whatever this was. to the side here we've got a bathroom with the claw toed tub which is always really cool next bedroom we have some beds got a calendar from 2000 so somebody was here in 2000 it looked like the beds are still left in here that's really cool and we got another bathroom with marble flooring and also another claw toad tub The sink is actually quite large. At least the sides are. We got another bedroom with marble up here on this fireplace, which is really nice. Really expensive. <laughs> and I love that there's a mirror like this in every single room. Another bathroom. So like I said, there's a ton of rooms throughout this whole house. There's a lot to see here, guys. So I just showed you one side. Now here's the other side. More another bedroom. Like I said, there's 55 in here. Oh, wow. This room is fully intact. Wow. That's amazing. Really cool bed. Old Royal typewriter. That's one of the coolest lamps ever. And there's even clothes in the, in the drawers. This is so nice. I just imagine living here. Like even the detail on the furniture. And this room is still intact too. That's amazing. It's like so like perfectly decayed in here. Like, it looks so awesome. Old suitcase. It's like a key of some sort. Yeah, 
Maybe it's the key to this. No. Then we got more lamps and like this is cool. There's no painting in it, but like the fact that it's hanging there just makes it look so like decayed and cool. And then we got pictures of maybe the family, maybe one of the sons. And their old jacket hanging up here with their golf clubs over there in the corner. This is like a time capsule right here. Maybe like a yearbook. 1951. Wow. Super cool. And this is a kitchen in here. few things left behind. Yearbooks. There's even stuff in the fridge over there from the 50s. Along with this thing of books. Wow. I'm loving this. So when I'm walking in here, I see this. Now I'm gonna take you guys up there to see what's up there, because it's actually really, really cool. But in here, I can imagine when it's lit up, it would look super elegant, super nice. So we're up on the third floor, or the second floor, something like that. Yeah, we're on the third floor. You get a good view down there. So pretty. So there's a lot still to see. So we're gonna go on this side first. Now one thing too guys, Peter Widener actually passed away in this house in 1915 when he was 80 years old. Such beautiful rooms. You can see the damage that's starting to happen in this place. It started a long time ago and nobody's really taking care of it. It's really sad. Like, look at the outside just a little bit. <laughs> this place is nuts. It looks just like the White House on the front. I'm trying not to miss anything either, guys. We got another bathroom in here. Another big room with beautiful details like up there. And then we have sort of like a little mini kitchen. So I mean, when this place changed several times, you know, a lot of things changed about it. This was some sort of closet in here. Another huge room. I mean this, and this is like original wallpaper and stuff when this place was built. Nineteen hundred, so old. These bathrooms are huge actually. Even got a cool detail thing up here above the door. Right here we have an elevator, which is definitely not here. It's fallen. I wish it was here though, because I want to see what an elevator looked like from back then. Especially one in a house like this. As elegant as this. I just gotta keep showing you guys this because this is amazing. Now I believe down this way is actually Mr. Widener's room, towards this way at least. 
I can just imagine limiting something like this. And here's kind of more of the front. It's got huge pillars on the front, which you'll see in the video. And this is the best bathroom in the whole place. So we got some marble here. Then we got this marble tub. So I'm assuming this is probably Peter's, Peter's bathroom. They even got like gold faucets, which is really cool. Which are probably brass, actually. But the fact that everything's marble is really cool. Got a cool skylight right here. Oh, I love the color of this one. We got a blue room, baby blue. Man, that's really detailed right there. I love that. They do not make them like this no more, and that is a fact. It's sad that nobody's ever gonna do anything in this place. Like it's just never gonna be the same again. And the fact this is a mansion is crazy. So I believe this was Peter's room. There would have been a beautiful chandelier in here, it looks like. With the marble. Like super detailed marble fireplace in here. Sad to see the mirrors broken. Yeah, you see this? This is nice. Like, a lot of storage space in here too. This thing is really cool. Yeah, this is the servants' quarters of the house. These are all gonna be pretty much the same up here, just kind of empty little rooms. But just to show you guys a little bit of it. Yeah. And it's like this on the other side too, right? Yeah. All right guys, so we're gonna head up to the attic now. And we got marble staircases too. Just leading up to the attic. So this is actually above the art gallery. Which would have been cool skylights. And then what do we have down these hallways? More rooms, more servants rooms? Yeah, there's more servants. So we have more bedrooms down here. This one has like a bed frame in it. But yeah, like I said, 55 bedrooms. A lot of them are just gonna be little small ones like this. Like, yeah, they're all pretty much the same. So I don't know how I almost missed these rooms right here. But these rooms are straight up so clean. Like, look at this couch. I can't believe I almost missed this. That's creepy. An office. Got his desk. So cool. This must be part of the church. An application form for the faith theological. Wow. 
so cool. We have like a whole library. This thing is full of books all the way down there. This stretches the whole hall. And here is classroom number two, which has just a few seats, not as many as the other one. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps up this entire video of this incredible mansion. I'm still at a loss for words for this place. And I hope one day, maybe something can happen here, but I doubt it. It's just got so much history, so much amazing architecture that it needs to be saved, but who knows. But yeah, we're gonna get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed exploring this place. This is by far my favorite mansion so far. And it is, uh, like I said, it's breathtaking. So we're gonna get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that subscribe button, share with a friend, turn on the post notification bell, and be notified every single week when we go on these amazing adventures. So guys, we're gonna get out of here. Big Banks out.